Hi everybody, I'm Rook. Welcome to the table. Today I have a box of the new Yu-Gi-Oh! Speed Duel booster set. This is Attack from the Deep. Just going to open some of these. And there's 36 packs. Uh, they, they average about 11 foils, I'd say, in a box from what I've heard so far. So hoping to open these up and get some of the good cards. Looking for Sonic Bird. That's the money card right now. Also, Dust Tornado comes out in this box, which is a really good trap card. So um, there's also a lot of Mako cards, new skills, um, a lot of aquatic monsters. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to open these. I'm going to touch on the foils and other cards that I might think are worth mentioning. Let's see. All right, first pack, Goblin Zombie. I am interested in Goblin Zombie. Also, Warrior Elimination. Uh, no foil, but Warrior Elimination, I hear, was short printed. Destroy all warrior monsters on the field. So um, there's a lot of warriors right now. If you think of Amazons, think of uh, the Knights and the Royal Flush. Amazon's trainee. I'm a sucker for that because it's an Amazonas card. And, oh, Sonic Duck. That's funny. All right. Let's keep looking for foils. Magical Undertaker. I'm actually thinking about running this in a Gravekeeper deck that I have an idea for. Water Hazard, Great White, a lot of water, no foil. Array of Greed, I'll also hear that's short print also, so that's good. Shuffle two water monsters from your hand into your deck, then draw three cards. Go. Mass of the Accursed. Oh my gosh, I have so many people excited about this card. You basically, you equip an opponent's monster with it, they can't attack, and the opponent loses 500 life points every time it's your upkeep. I've already seen people run three of these in a deck. That's nasty. Robin Zombie, Mystical Elf. Okay. Mask of the Accursed. There you go. Oh my gosh, here we go. Ryu Senshi. All right, that's a popular fusion out now. That is a super rare Ryu Senshi, currently around $3. Um, so that's a good one. I'm actually going to put that right there. Big wave, small wave, good for um, aqua decks, legendary fishermen, very good. No foil. Okay, nothing really there. Come on, looking for Zombina, I'm looking for Sonic Bird, there's Umi. Axe Raider. Okay, I actually need these because I do run Battle Ox in a couple decks right now. Axe Raider is essentially Battle Ox, but instead of a thousand defense, it has 1150 defense, so it's automatically better. And it's a warrior monster instead of a beast warrior, so you can equip it with things like Sword of Dragon Soul and uh, Legendary Sword. So that's better than Battle Ox. I'll be putting that in my deck. Another Axe Raider. Awesome. Okay. No foils. Goblin Zombie, also good. I'm thinking about making a uh, King of the Skull Servants deck. Goblin Zombie would be helpful there. Another Mystical Elf. So far, one foil. Let's go Dust Tornado. I need those. Umi. Zombina. All right, here we go. We got Zombina. Um, let's see. Zombina right now. That's, that's about $2.50. This card in its owner's possession destroyed by an opponent's card. You can target a level 4 or lower monster in your graveyard except Zombina and Special Summon it. So helps you recycle monsters in a, in a zombie deck there. Put that one right over there. Okay. Legendary Fisherman again. All right. No foil there. Amazon's trainee, nice. Trinity Beast Goblin Zombie, okay. Mass the Accursed, okay. All these are alright. No foils. King Barrier, Robin Zombie. Okay, no foils there.
Okay, Blade Knight. Blade Knight's a good one right here. Blade Knight is currently going. That's the second most expensive card in the box right now. It's about $6. Gains 400 attack when you have one or less cards in your hand. If you control no other monsters, the effects of flip monsters destroyed by battle of this card are negated. So it's a warrior monster. Technically, it's called a knight, but it doesn't really synergize with the Royal Flush deck. Base attack 16, defense 1,000. So that's a good one. People are liking that one. Okay, another big wave, small wave, fusion recovery. I've seen this played. This can get your polymerization back and uh, a fusion monster material from the graveyard, so that's good. Oh, I already see a skill card in this one. Let's go, Mako, what do we have? Zoomies. The world's greatest fisherman. Okay, great. This is a, about $4.50 right now. I'm not too interested in the Mako sets right now, but it may change depending on what I pull. Once per turn, you can pay 500 life points, discard a water monster, then add one water monster from your graveyard to your hand with a different name and with a level no more than twice the discarded monster's level. If you do that, flip this card over. So it's a once per duel kind of thing. So there's four out of, I'm hoping for 10 to 12. I'm not counting how many packs I've opened. Maybe I'll put a graphic there. Axe Raider, good, good. Goblin Zombie, okay. Certainly got more than a play set of those. Big Wave Small Wave, Fusion Recovery, Mystical Elf. Okay, we got the cops in the back. Mask of the Accursed, here we go. Prentice Magician, all right. Prentice Magician, that's a good one. Let's see, oh, what is this one going for right now? Uh, I'm not really sure, but it's a super rare. Uh, this card summons target a face-up card on the field that you can place a spell counter on. Place one spell counter on that target. If the card is destroyed by battle, you can special summon one level two or lower spellcaster monster from your deck in face down defense position. So it's good for spellcasters. Prentice Magician goes for about $2.75, right? Go. Looking for more foils. Let's go Sonic Bird. Let's go Dust Tornado. No foils there. Come on, there we go. All right, another legendary fisherman. Okay, I have people interested in those. No foils. Lost Blue Breaker, that's great. Uh, nothing there. Starting to get a small mountain over there. Here we go, another Mako card right here. We have Mythic Depths, great. This is basically an Umi, the skill card. Right there, another Marine of, Marine of Greed, that's good. Mythic Depths goes for about $3 right now, I think, my last check, it might be higher. There's six foils right now. Amazon's training, okay. Still six foil. Warrior Elimination, good, good. Okay, wow, these are all spells, interesting. But no foil. Axe Raider, yes, Magical Undertaker, great. Wow, these are also good for aquatic. Okay, no foil. Small wave fusion recovery, slushy. Nope, no foils there. Sonic Duck, Mass the Accursed, another slushy, Fan Thief, nope. All right, coming down to the wire. Let's see something good. I at least need to make that out of here with one dust tornado so I don't look like an idiot next time I play people. Magician of Faith. All right, that's a good one. Magician of Faith. Flip. Target one spell in your graveyard. Add that target to your hand. So helps you get spells back. Just a level one monster. Attack 300, defense 400. Magician of Faith goes for about $4.50 right now. Whoa, and there goes the camera.
Okay, we're sort of back. We got it in a good spot, whatever. Let's get, I think we have like four packs left, so. Here we go, okay, there's a Kaiba skill card here. Viral Infection, okay. Not too familiar with this one. I'm not really a fan of the Kaiba stuff. Once per turn, discard any number of cards and declare one type of card, Monster Spell or Trap. Your opponent sends one card of the declared type from the deck to the graveyard for each discarded card. If you do that, flip the card over. Viral Infection, uh, about $4.50 right now. So how many is that? That's eight. All right, I'm hoping for at least two more. Okay, Legendary Fisherman, Slushy, nope, nothing there. Last two. Usual Recovery, Warrior Elimination. Nope, last one. Come on, Dust Tornado, you got to give me something here. Mako skill card. All right, well, it's something. Omaray of Greed and Catch of the Day. Okay, Catch of the Day, that's a different one. That's about $4 right now. That is too long. I'm not going to read that in front of you guys, but we ended with nine foils and the average is 11. So not too bad. Wasn't Didn't get what I was looking for, but it loaded me up with a lot of Mako cards. So maybe I'll look at something like that. Um, obviously, I can't wait to try out Zombina um, because I haven't built a zombie deck yet. So that should be pretty good. And Blade Knight might play around with. The Ryu Senshi probably won't try and build, um, but I have some friends who are interested in that. The Magicians are interesting. We'll have to see. Anything you think works well right off the bat with what you say here, let me know. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.